Chrissy Mittenan. For tonight's dinner, Sharafanan will show you how to make bibimbap. Bibimbap literally means mixed rice and is another popular one in our Korean comfort food collection. This is a dish that the K-drama director likes to use to make us jealous of the on-screen characters, culinary, and love life. But you don't have to be jealous for longer, because today we show you how to make this delicious, refreshing, and comforting dish to impress your oppa or your tummy. Now, what are you waiting for? Let's get cooking. Bop in bibimbap means rice in Korean. So let's go make one cup of rice in our trusted rice cooker. Next up, we marinate our meat topping in a scrumptious homemade bulgogi sauce. Of course, you can use the store-bought sauce for convenience, but we highly recommend taking the time to make your own sauce because it is so, so, so much better. Just follow our recipe right here. For the bulgogi sauce, Mix together 75 ml of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, 3 tablespoons of sesame oil, 1 tablespoon of gochujang or Korean chili paste, 2 teaspoons of gochugaru or Korean chili flakes, as well as some pepper. Also, grate 3 cloves of garlic, 10 grams of ginger, and half a sweet apple or even better if you can get your hand on some Korean pear. Mix the grated ingredients in the liquids well. We're going to marinate 300 gram of ground meat with this bulgogi sauce, but you can use any type of meat you want. Bulgogi tends to go best with beef slices, but we cannot afford beef without sponsorship so please feel free to sponsor us if you want to see more recipes with beef. Now, let's return to the sauce making. There's another sauce you need to make, the bibimbap sauce. To make this delicious, sweet, and spicy sauce, combine half a cup of gochujang, four tablespoons of sugar, four tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, four teaspoons of rice vinegar, 4 tablespoons of water, and 3 cloves of crushed garlic. Mix well so the sugar dissolves and set your sauce aside for later. Now, for the freshness, let's prepare our veggies. This recipe calls for 1 carrot, half a large cucumber, and 6 champignon mushrooms, but you can always substitute with any veggies of your Remember, cooking is always about what you like to eat, First and foremost. Okay, let's slice your mushroom into thin slices. Also slice your cucumber into short strips like this. Grate your carrot into short strips too. With the cucumber, you don't have to cook it. Just simply mix it with one teaspoon of sesame oil and one teaspoon of salt and set it aside. Let's quickly stir fry your carrot with one tablespoon of the oyster sauce only for about 3 minutes on medium-high heat, otherwise it will lose its crunchiness. Finally, stir-fry your mushroom for 2-3 to three minutes until your mushroom starts to shrink. Add 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce and continue frying for about 2 minutes until the mushroom is thoroughly cooked. Your meat is well marinated now, so let it join the pan as well. Pour all the meat along with the bulgogi marinade into your pan and cook everything on medium heat for 7 to 10 minutes to make sure it's cooked through. Now, don't put your pan away just yet. We still need to fry up a sunny side of egg. Remember to season your egg simply with salt and pepper. And now it's time to assemble. Put some rice into your bowl and top it with mushrooms, carrots, cucumber, and meat. On top of everything, carefully lay your beautiful sunny side up egg. And finally, drizzle your bibimbap sauce from before all around. And there you have it, a bowl of rainbow that is both eye-catching and tasty. This work of art will guarantee to help you capture both the heart and the stomach of your oppa. Now, as you and your oppa are cuddling and watching the newest K-drama on Netflix together, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more recipes for you both to enjoy. All that's left is, and with that, bon appetito, itadakimatsu, my ganya and come, and dig in.